This is episode 1707. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I honor you for showing up for yourself today. You are so worth slowing down for in case I haven't told you that lately. Well, today we are midweek in our series and we continue with the theme of renewal, having you feel refreshed and renewed and most importantly, providing you with skills to remain refreshed and you can approach your mindset in a similar way as you approach to any other information you allow to cross your path. And we have been following along with the notes on a website I found called Prezi.com, where they talk about this information overload. And I think you will agree that many of us also have an information overload going on, and that may be why you decided to meditate. Well, you might be right here. And you might even not be to the point where you settle yourself down to meditate. You might simply be listening to this as you go about your day and do other things. And that is fine because we all start somewhere. And just the fact that you're attuning yourself to the benefits of meditation and a meditation lifestyle is so important to eventually sitting down on a meditation cushion or on a chair and giving yourself a full meditation experience. So if you are a longtime meditator or brand new, it's all good. So the skill sets in these notes by Megan Ferguson talk about being skeptical and looking for evidence when you are evaluating what news or thoughts you are being exposed to. And so you've been going through the different skill sets for this information overload lifestyle. We are pretty much all exposed to these days. And that has to do with identifying the kind of content you are allowing yourself to be exposed to. And then identifying whether that news is complete. Maybe it's just part of the story. And we are applying this to your thoughts as well. So are those thoughts you're thinking, are they complete? Or is it only part of the story? And maybe to receive the full truth, you need to dig a little deeper. And you also discovered how to assess your sources. What are you allowing to enter your mind? And where is it coming from? And the next skill set is evaluating News involves assessing evidence. So when you think about the thoughts that you run through your mind, maybe every day, maybe hourly, maybe all day long, when you think about the truth of these thoughts, you could begin to notice that a lot of your thoughts are simply habits. And if the habit isn't even true, imagine how that is interfering with you living your full truth. So when you think about how you're feeling on a regular basis, it's so important to notice what triggered that feeling. Where did it come from? And then to think about, is that a true 
feeling? Is that a true thought? And if it's not, then that requires you to do a little more thinking. Where did this thought come from? And if it's not true, why did I believe it? And how did I even get in a situation where I'm walking around thinking untrue thoughts about myself that are inhibiting my life? You can even start to feel yourself feel frustrated and ready to let go of those thoughts. And when you do, this is so freeing. It's your freedom because living your truth is freeing. Truth is freedom. So as you get ready to meditate today, I want to share with you a unique meditation technique. I know for some of you, these are your favorite techniques. For others, you may be new to mudras. Mudras are a way you position your hands that stimulate a corresponding region of your brain. Mudras are often referred to as yoga in your hands. We have a lot of nerve endings on our fingertips and our hands. And so when you position your hands in a particular way, it creates a reaction in your nervous system, which sends a signal to your brain. So the mudra for today is a fun mudra. You might want to take a look at the mudra on the Sip and Om Facebook page. I always share a photo of a mudra there so that you can see if you're doing it correctly. This is a pretty easy mudra to do. When you do it, your hands are going to look like they are forming a conch shell that you would find at the beach. And so to do it, you'll place your hands on your lap or right in front of you. And you're going to take your right hand and just grasp and encircle your left thumb. And then your left hands will kind of fold over your right hand that's encircling your left thumb. And then your right thumb will kind of naturally extend upward and just touch it, your right thumb to your left index finger. So your basically encircling your left thumb with your right hand. So your hands now, if you've done this correctly, look like a conch shell. And you could think of your thumb, your left thumb, as the pearl. I know there are not pearls in conch shells, but think of your left thumb as your highest self. And you're guarding it. You are encasing it with your truth. Now, with a conch shell, these, in many cultures of the world, island cultures, the conch shells are blown for many different reasons. Many of them are spiritual or to represent a ritual or celebration. And as you're renewing yourself this week, I encourage you to celebrate yourself. To do that, you could visualize yourself blowing a conch shell and silently or very quietly, you could repeat the word OM. 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 Om is considered in yoga and meditation to be the sound of the universe. And it represents you connected to the divine, to everything around you. And this is your truth. So visualize yourself on a beach, blowing through the conch shell. You could quietly repeat... Om, Om, and feel your truth being unleashed, the full 
guided meditation of this is on my meditation app, the Sip and Om meditation app. You can try it for two weeks free and you can be guided in a half hour meditation using this technique. If you want to go a little deeper into this theme this week. So as you sit down and meditate, focus on your inner truth and you are so worth slowing down for.